and welcome to Pilgrim Lutheran Church and Schools Virtual Sunday School. Today, we're continuing to hold Sunday School as close to what we usually do as possible. In a separate link, there's a song that we're planning to sing on April 5th, Palm Sunday, uh, and it's called Pave the Way with Branches. And I would encourage you to take a look at that link and learn the song because we're going to find a way to sing that song together virtually as we had uh, originally planned on April 5th. And also, we are going to go ahead and read our story this week from the World Kids Story Bible and talk about a few things that we can do to continue with our plan for 40 Days in Community. And this week, our theme is sharing meals in community. So we're going to talk about how we could share meals even though we can't be together. So here is our story. And we had been planning this for a long time to, uh, for this week's lessons to be Philippians 4, 1 through 9. And I think you'll find as I read the story just how relevant it is. Uh, so whether we're in person or virtual, we have uh, the same story. Rejoice in the Lord always. Paul loved traveling and teaching about Jesus. He helped early Christian believers create churches. They wanted to share the good news of Jesus. Some of the government leaders thought Paul was teaching people to dishonor the emperor by worshiping Jesus, so they threw him in prison. Paul felt lonely in prison. I miss my friends in Philippi, he thought. I wonder how their church is doing. I know. I'll write them a letter. And here is Paul's Dear friends in Philippi, I love you and miss you very much. Do you remember when Euodia, Sintici, Clement, and I worked together to teach about Jesus? You wanted to learn even when it wasn't easy. Remind Euodia and Sintici to work together and not to argue when they teach about Jesus. Rejoice and be happy. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Pray like we prayed when we were together. Prayer will bring God into your hearts. Remember what I said when I was with you. Think about what is true and fair. Praise God for everything. God is with you always, your friend Paul. Paul read through his letter again. He didn't feel lonely anymore. He found a way to keep sharing uh, the good news with his friends. And that's exactly what we're doing. We are finding a way to continue sharing. And as I said, our theme this week was sharing meals in community. And the idea was to share meals together. Um, but what can we do when we can't actually be together? Well, we've got three ideas for you. One, think about the way that your family says grace every day. Uh, we say grace. We are thankful that we learned from Pilgrim School many, many years ago. Do you want to sing it with me, Evelyn? And it goes like this. We are thankful, we are thankful for this food, for this food. Now we are sharing, now we are sharing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. So that's what we do every day as we sit around our dining room table just before dinner. Another way that we can share is through recipes. And this is a recipe book that I have from my mom. And she wrote, can you hold it up high? She wrote, she hand wrote recipes in this book that uh, have notes about where the recipe came from and notes about whether or not it was someone's favorite meal. And I love this uh, recipe book because I use this uh, to create meals for my family today, and we're creating um, memories. Like this one's called Mom's Hawaiian Salad. Uh, and we got that one from my grandma. Uh, and uh, now we eat this together as a family. So this is a wonderful way to share recipes and um, to share together in a meal. 
So if you've got a great recipe that's keeping you comfort during this time, we'd love for you to share it with us. Let's continue to share meals in community. And then the last way that we can continue to share meals in community is through traditions. And uh, what we have here is a, a box of Irish breakfast tea. And I picked uh, this uh, to represent tradition because one of my strongest memories is walking into my grandmother's home and always having her um, offering something to eat or drink but my most favorite thing to do with her is to have a cup of tea and I had actually bought this for her to share with her um, but since we cannot be together I will look forward to dropping it off at a, a later date um, but this is something that uh, you know I keep in my heart always is having a cup of tea with my grandmother. So what are your family traditions that you do that warm your heart and keep you comfort um, when you're sharing meals? Let us know. We would really, really love to hear it. And so those are three ideas that we can continue to do to share meals together even though we can't be together. And um, as we continue our virtual Sunday school, we will also look for ways to make this interactive in the future. So thank you for tuning in this week by video, and we look forward to hearing from you about your ideas of how we can continue to share meals in community. Thank you, and may you all stay blessed this week. Amen. Amen.